friends, Neo Toy Story here, and I just had this little Sunday project that I just finished, and I, um, I don't know, I wanted to make a short video about it, because it's kind of cool, but also, um, new and interesting scientific principles at play here. <clears throat> so this is a toroidal propeller. And uh, this is a fairly recent engineering and physics innovation. And um, what I did was I just, uh, I put a little electric motor that I had in this frame and hooked it up to a switch. And then it's going into a USB power supply. Uh, the advantage of the toroidal propeller design is that when it's, spinning and moving fluid because of the topology it um eliminates damaging and noisy vortexes uh, it's much better in a viscous fluid like water rather than air so anyway i'm going to turn it on so you can see how fairly quiet it is for how much air it puts off The operation is almost silent, to be honest, for a fan of this size. Um, the only real sound is the vibration of the base on the table, which actually is a fairly loud sound compared to the actual rotation of the fan. And uh, it's it's blown pretty hard. You can't. There's some cobwebs up there. You can kind of see them moving around. But yeah, um, lots of potential for toroidal fans and propellers. They really uh, make a big difference for um, like submarines and boats. Uh, increased efficiency, lower drag, you don't get hitting or vortex uh, micro explosions. Um, yeah, what else did I want to say? I feel like there was one other thing. Oh yeah, these aren't aren't going to be replacing like conventional wind turbines anytime soon because like I said, they're actually more designed for pushing fluid than being pushed by a fluid, so that's an important consideration. But another cool advantage, they look they look fucking awesome. Anyway, this is my fun little Sunday project, just a fairly simplistic fan in a frame. Thanks for watching.